Welcome to Chongqing. Get on the subway to the future. Chongqing is one of the world's largest municipalities with a population of about 30 million people, which is surely enough to make anyone sit up and take notice. Just to put that figure in perspective, it's equivalent to half of the population of Britain, all living in one mega metropolis. So how does a city the size of a country move its people daily? I give you Chongqing's rail network. Without a doubt, Chongqing has quickly established itself as a huge player on the global stage. With the Chongqing Rail Transit in full bloom, the city is expanding its infrastructure capabilities beyond its 14,000 bridges alone. The monorail stand as an achievement on their own, having the powerful ability to cut directly into buildings and forests. Where large mountains once stood in the way, people have now pushed through with deep tunnels and high overpass along a vast landscape. The most famous mind-boggling monorail route in Chongqing is the world-famous Line 2. This first line was built in 2005. No, this is not the Walt Disney World monorail that operates inside a theme park. This is Chongqing's world-class monorail Line 2. With speeds reaching 75 kilometers, at a length of over 31.36 kilometers, the line has over 25 stations. No station could ever be more popular than the world-famous Lizaba Station. This engineering masterpiece looks like an optical illusion, but in reality, the monorail passes through the building. In fact, the building and station were built at the same time. The famous monorail Line 2 continues to create landmarks throughout the city. With a daily ridership of over 770,000 daily riders serving over 281 million trips a year, not to be forgotten in Chongqing's layered landscape is the legendary Line 3. These lines connect millions of daily riders, creating new cities surrounding the stations. This 3D transportation grid zigzags across Chongqing's mountainous landscape. This technology no longer requires any outside expertise. Chongqing's monorails are 95% locally patented. These revolutionary lines act as veins of a beating infrastructure's heart that connects everyone together. They will always be a physical proof of an everlasting spirit and determination of Chongqing's people to succeed. While other countries outsource and privatize their transportation grids in hopes of improvement, they end up failing their citizens, causing tremendous hardship on their daily lives of their people. Both Chongqing and China recognize the vast advantages of infrastructure investment. Chongqing rail transit infrastructure is mainly carried out in Chongqing's metropolitan area, where it consists of 21 districts, covering a population of over 20 million people and an economic aggregate of 1.8 trillion yuan consisting the core carrier of Chongqing as a national central city. By 2025, Chongqing will have over 1,000 kilometers of rail transit in operation and under construction. The rail network serves its city as a connection for its people to commute while acting as a hub to all vital areas airports, businesses, and logistics. A workforce into the thousands make this happen on a minute-to-minute -minute basis. These are the true heroes of Chongqing's extraordinary transportation lines. The people that power this network daily should also be recognized. Every station consistently stays updated on the latest technology, including surveillance systems, protecting its daily travelers in a safe and time-efficient way to find their destinations. No megacity is complete unless it has a world-class subway system. This, after all, is Chongqing. A traditional subway line is just not acceptable. The masterminds behind these strolling subway lines have had to deal with mountains, rivers, and many challenging terrains 
in this now labeled 8D city. In Chongqing, there is a solution to every problem. Accept it, change it, and master it. So that is exactly what engineers do, constructing a rail network to the future. The average daily passenger volume of Chongqing's rail transit accounts for approximately 40% of the total number of public transport trips. Rail transit has become the first choice for its citizens. This proportion will be further improved to alleviate urban traffic congestion and improve the public's efficiency. If you think Chongqing has finished its goals in transportation, it's just getting started. Chongqing and China are putting their money where their mouth is and investing billions into the future and its people. Chongqing is building a one-hour commuter circle which includes suburban railways, intercity railways and national railways in addition to monorails and subways totaling more than 6,000 kilometers. If you haven't already noticed this, then you haven't been paying attention to China. Go ahead and underestimate the will of Chongqing's determination. You won't be the first, you won't be the last, but you could be wrong.